So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. Don't forget, any question that provides some visual input, I am going to call a diagram question. You can choose to do that or not. Um, but definitely thinking of it through some graph strategies may be useful. Um, anytime I see a graph, I take note of the ordered pairs that are easy to identify. So we have four of them here where we know the exact X and Y values for those points. And then, of course, I jump into reading to figure out how I may be able to use that to my benefit. So this question says the graph shown models the height Y in feet of a volleyball X seconds after it was hit by a player. So we do see that the X axis is time in seconds. The Y axis is height in feet. Which equation represents the relationship between the height of the volleyball and the time since the volleyball was hit? So there is a very, very straightforward way to answer this question, but it does require knowledge, right? It requires that you remember that the equation for a parabola looks like this. How do I know this is a parabola? Well, it's an upside down parabola. That's what upside down parabolas look like. Obviously, we're not taking note of this part here because that's all negative and there's, it wouldn't make any sense. But pretty much we have a parabola, right? So our equation should be a, par a parabolic equation. So the H and the K from this equation represent the vertex. Just so happens that the vertex is one of these ordered pairs that we actually do know. The vertex is 0 0.25 in the X and 6 in the y, so 0 0.25 comma 6, which tells me that h is equal to 0 0.25 and k is equal to 6. And therefore, my equation should be y equals a x minus 0 0.25 plus, I'm sorry, squared plus 6. Now, so I haven't figured out what a is. I do know that it's going to be negative because the parabola is facing downward. But when I look at the answer choices, I don't really have to figure out what a is because choice d is the only answer that matches the format that I'm looking for for the equation of a parabola. So that is the fastest way to find the answer, in my opinion. Um, if you do not know, or if you did not know this equation, I mean, hopefully you remember it now, but there is another way to answer the question. I'm not going to go fully through it, but I will at least say we can use these ordered pairs to our benefit through the strategy of plugging in, right? So plug in information from the question. How do I do that? I say, for instance, let's take this order pair here. That would be 0 0.5 comma 5. So that's basically telling me that when x equals 0 0.5, y should equal 5. I take those and I plug them into the x and y for each of the answers to see which one gets me what I'm looking for. Some of them should cross out maybe one or two remain. And if if more than one answer remains, then I go to the next one, right? I say, well, what out of those two that are left over, what happens when I plug in 0 0.75? I should get two for my Y value, right? So I keep doing that, and usually it doesn't take more than two steps to figure out the correct answer. So that would be the plug-in information from question strategy versus the, like, I'm going to call this like the knowledge, right? You remember this formula, um, from school 